eyes what is that baby girl candle welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel my little sweeties and welcome to recap of october so i this was the halloween costume i wore to work i was pooh bear again after two years fun times this was part one of my halloween costume part two was because i got the hufflepuff robes in october beginning of october so yeah got my hufflepuff robes have my I could have worn anything in this video. <laughs> I got like so many so much fun stuff has happened. I got my Hufflepuff robes in October. I got my Speak Now cardigan finally in October. Airs tour movie. I'll go into all this fun stuff. So yeah. The biggest thing was it was Taylor Swift. It was a Taylor Swift month. And 1989, Taylor's version. So <laughs> Let's get into this. So, and it was since anniversary of Midnight's, the Midnight's record sticker I had left on my Taylor Swift stickers. An Alpha Plus sticker. Green Blue. Aristotle Movie, 1989 Taylor's version. Hearts, fun stuff. Kind of the to do list of the month. Have fun, work hard, celebrate, self care, breathe, enjoy life, party hard, meditate. So, some important dates. October 4th was Minerva McGonagall's birthday. October 11th, National Coming Out Day, and also my nine-year anniversary of coming out. That's such a fun day. October 27th. Wait, no. October 13th, Eras Tour Movie. October 20th, Fan Jam. October 21st was supposed to be Haler Night, but we'll talk about why I couldn't go to Haler Night. But I went to Fan Jam. That Ricky, my DJ friend. He DJ'd all of BYU Homecoming weekend, which is really cool to me <laughs> that he did that for like three days in a row. He did that. So, yeah. So, I went with a friend, my friend Kira, who I met at Haler Nights back in May. Over the summer, we went to Fangio. I'll go into that a little bit later. October 27th, then was 1989, Taylor's version. In October 31st, Halloween. So yes, let's get into this. Let me show you what I did for the month. I used the colors orange and gray. Some dragon stickers. Because that was like Halloween-esque. Picture of McGonagall, dark art stickers and Bellatrix. McGonagall's birthday. Of course I care about fictional characters' birthdays. How could I not? <laughs> this was the fun week. One of the fun weeks. Because it was my um, coming out anniversary, National Coming Out Day. And we had the Air Store movie. I went, so I went to the Air Store movie. Um, I'm just going to kind of go by events and then talk about some more events by the pictures I'm looking at. I went to the Air Store movie Thursday night and Friday night. Because Wednesday night was the premiere, I want to say that was the premiere. And she looks stunning. Several, every, almost everyone I follow on like Swifty Instagram and Swifty Twitter all got invited and met Taylor for the first time or got to see her again. So I thought that was really fun and cool. Taylor looks like Cinderella, stunning. So I saw the movie in theaters Thursday night and Friday night, which was a blast. And then that's when, that's the week my parents left for Italy for two weeks. Two and a half, like, uh, like two weeks. It was really fun to be alone. But I did have a scare when I came home Thursday night. I thought I lost my dog. That was the scariest thing in my life. My parents had only been gone for, like, 24 hours. He came on late for the movie. Because it's almost like a three-hour movie. The concert. It's just going to the concert again. Oh, man. I have the posters. I should have grabbed the poster, but I didn't. I have the posters. I have the... I can show you the drink. I got the drink. And I have the popcorn bucket. I got two movie posters. That was fun. And yeah. So I thought I lost my dog. I came home. I couldn't find him anywhere. I called my sister bawling. Like I literally thought my dog like was stolen. Like I was like how in the world did he get out? And our house is very secure. Everything's very secure in my house. So I was, I was kind of like... And there was no um, sign of break of someone breaking in and entering. 
So I went downstairs to check all the windows again in the basement, and then I finally looked in the playroom. I was on the phone with my friend Rory. Found my dog. Biggest sigh, biggest relief of my life. So yeah, terrifying. In the nine years, because I've always watched my dog. My parents have been out of town several times for a week. Or a little over a week. This is the longest they've ever been gone, but still. I take care of my dog all the time, since I was 17 years old. And I have never experienced this kind of scare of my dog. So, that was horrifying. And so now, after every time I'd leave, or I went somewhere the rest of the week, I would just close that door down here, because I didn't want him to go back in the playroom where the kids play, my niece and nephews play. Because, yeah, no thanks. And then, oh yeah, it was Philly's Fl Flitwick's birthday. Flitwick's birthday. I forgot about that. Fan GM was so much fucking fun. So I went to Fan GM, my friend Kira. She picked me up and took we went down to be, to BYU. It was in the parking lot of the Lavelle, right outside the Lavelle Edward Stadium. So much fun. We had a blast. Had fun seeing Ricky, hanging out with Ricky. Then that was such a cool, like, week that Monday. That was a big week for Ricky. So Ricky, Monday was, he's been on Good Things Utah before. He was on Good Things Utah again. Which I missed because I forgot about. Because, you know, Kendall Brain. I was, I was sad that I missed that one. That was, that was a really sad. I was sad because I forgot about it. I was like, no! Like, I was so disappointed. So he, he had so much going on. He had... Good Things Utah interview, all of BYU Homecoming Week, and then fan. So then Thursday night was Midnight Madness, Friday night was Fan Jam, then Saturday pre party before Healer Night. So unfortunately, I went to Fan Jam, had a fun time. The next morning, I woke up like my voice was so gone. I kind of started feeling like I was getting sick, but not really. Like I was totally, I was perfectly fine. I was just really exhausted. Then Saturday, after I got home from work and I showered, I felt so sick. I got, I was really sick. So I couldn't go to fan, I, I couldn't go to Haler Ween. It's Haler Ween, guys. So sad. I was so sad. Like, I had been, <laughs> I had been so excited. I was like, I'm so sorry, guys. Because there's a, always a group chat. Because I'm on the promo, I've been on the promo team the last couple times. Like, I am so sorry, guys. I will not be there. I just feel so sick. And I need to take care of myself and rest. And that's all I did that night was rest. But it was it was, it was was still so much fun. I, I'm i happy I got to go to Fan Jam and hang out with Kira. And had a blast and still got to see Ricky, at least. Then, the week of Taylor 1989. So my parents came home that Tuesday night, the week of when 1989 Taylor's version came out. Ugh, let me get my CD. Shit, where's the CD? That's the... So, this is the variant, the deluxe variant I ordered. And then I just barely, just barely, right before Thanksgiving, like a weekend, last weekend, was able to get my hands on the Target version of the Aquamarine. This is the Target version, so it has the um, poster with it. So much fun and so exciting. I love it so much. One of my favorite songs from the Vault Tracks is Say Don't Go. The Vault Tracks were not what I was ever going to expect out of it. But literally, 1989 came out when I was a junior in high school, 17 years old. So literally, it was nine years to the, it was on the exact release date it was released, nine years apart from the original release date of 1989. That album, like, was everything to me. It was very cathartic. It was very healing. It was very self-reflective. And then it come. So I, I already loved 1989. No, I thought I loved it then. No, I fucking love it even more now with the re-recording. Everything just went up for me in production value. And just her vo Her vocals were already so much more mature then. And they are already way more mature now. So yeah, that was exciting. The picture of her. I guess I'll show that a little closer. That was fun and exciting. 
been a fun time. And then Halloween was really fun. Halloween I worked. Came home. I, I got off like an hour early. My friend Milton brought me home. Cool guy. Love Milton. I just love all my coworkers. Everyone I'm friends with at work. It's just a fun time. And Halloween was fun. I had a fun Halloween. Took my niece and nephew trick or treating. <laughs> Ricky. So, Ricky's sister Paula, I probably, I think I mentioned this. I found, I found out during um, Trash Weekly, like the day of the party. And then I told her a Trash Weekly party. She lives like a street over from me. Or like a street down from me. Like, so Halloween, I live in Daybreak, Utah. Daybreak is like the most decorated in Utah. <laughs> so we have a Stranger Things house. This year there was a Barbie street over, it's called the island, the island. It's where all the super rich and fancy houses are in Daybreak. And there was a whole street that was Barbie land. It was cool. I, I got to walk through it the weekend before, like a couple weekends before Halloween. I went on a Sunday night, and I feel like I was in Disneyland because of how packed it was through that area. I walked by myself and take my dog because I'm like, I have no idea how long it's going to be. I was gone for an hour. I saw there's a Pirates Caribbean house over there. The Harry Potter house was so... That was my favorite because I'm a huge Potter head. The Harry Potter house is my absolute favorite. So the Stranger Things house is on the same street as Paula's house. She's the Haunted Mansion slash... I mean, before Christmas house. I know that house. I've been trick-or-treating around there with my niece the last three years, two, three years or something. Last few years. And I had no idea because I didn't know Ricky. I didn't know anybody. So that was their house. And so Halloween, Ricky... <laughs> Bella had Ricky go over. Ricky had his DJ shit. His DJ shit. All this stuff. Was DJing outside of Bell's house. So after we had the kids over, I just went straight there. Because <laughs> I saw my Bella's Instagram. Because I said hi to Paula Halloween night. She looked incredible. Dressed in the ghost host outfit that they have in Disney World. Disneyland, Disney World. The outfits. And I just partied with... <laughs> They let me, they wanted me on their, I thought I was only going to be there for like 10, 15 minutes tops. Just kind of dancing, having fun. Just wanted, I just wanted to say hi. Because I didn't get to see Ricky. I saw him like the day before, but I didn't get to see him. I'm like, oh, it'd be fun to see Ricky on Halloween. <laughs> and um, Ricky's friends were there. <laughs> His friends. Oh, what are they? I'm, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I know their names. Charlie. And Ryan were just, so Charlie was just as Travis Kelsey, Ryan was just as Taylor Swift, and made, they made that Taylor Swift costume by scratch that week. <laughs> Only like hours before Halloween, they made that costume, and it was the best Halloween costumes, in my opinion, this year. It's funny, because I didn't see, everyone kept saying, oh, everyone kept doing Taylor and Travis. I'm like, I didn't see a single couple that was, um... Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. But Ryan, Charlie and Ryan, they're married. Cutest couple. Were the only couple that I had seen and I loved it. <laughs> I just kept telling them, like, this is amazing. <laughs> and so I made friends with Ricky's friends. <laughs> and <laughs> they let me, like, Paolo, like, Paula and Ricky were like, get up here, get on this porch, like, come party with us. And that I got to do that for a few hours, and that was really fun. I had no intention of crashing their party. I had no intention. Like, I didn't, like, so it was really fun. It meant a lot. That was really fun. I, I made sure to profusely thank Paula and... Ricky and everyone, I was like, thank you for having me. Thanks for letting me just, like, join in and crash your party. And everyone was really sweet and really fun and nice. So, yeah, that was really fun. I had a blast doing that. 
several people I was dancing in front of on Palace Porch that night. There were so many fe fucking people. So that, that, one of the most memorable, memorable Halloweens I've had in a long time. <laughs> and at least the last, like, six, seven years of my life. That was a very memorable Halloween. Really fun. So, ta-da! I put, this is my favorite cover besides the Blue Skies cover, the Aquamarine cover. I put Toast of Eras Tour, Hufflepuff, Hogwarts, Lesbian, does it just say Love is Love? Yeah, it does. 1980 TV, 1989, because there was a lot happening with Taylor Swift, me coming out, my coming out anniversary, Hufflepuff, Hogwarts, Halloween time. My second costume was Hufflepuff because I got my Hogwarts robes. Just so dope. So... Apart from all the good stuff, I went through, I officially broke it off my friendship with Brady after 10, 11 year friendship. Because I still hadn't heard anything. It was the week before we were supposed to go to a concert. Or like the week of, the beginning of the week. And I was very honest. And I was just like, you're treating me like a stranger. It's your fault. I'm walking away for acting childish and giving me the silent treatment. I can't remember exactly what I said, and I'm not going to pull it up. I probably have a screenshot of it. I'm not going to pull up and read it because it's just kind of irrelevant at this point. And nothing was ever said. I blocked Brady on everything. I got rid of all the pictures. I ripped them out of the fucking um, photo album I have, my Harry Potter photo album from Conquest Journals. And just, yeah, no. Ooh, left a very bad taste in my mouth. And especially they were there and knew what Tim did to me. How Tim treated me and how Tim was. And did the very exact same thing and that just fucking hurts. Like that just... And after everything I'm like, you know what? This was eventually I think going to come to an end. Anyway, whether regardless if I caught feelings for them or not. Because I just have been reflecting. I was like, yeah, there's some things that were going to have to be addressed eventually. A lot of poor me. Poor, like a lot of, Brady had a lot of poor me attitude. A lot of, oh, boohoo, I'm the victim. And my circumstance attitude and just certain things that now I look at. I'm like, I dodged a fucking bullet. But it sucks because the friendship was really good and healthy for a very long time. And it, it just blows my mind because if anyone, if any of my friends, if I didn't have feelings for them, would have ever told me they had feelings for me, that would never be a deal breaker. I would never isolate them. I would never give them the silent treatment. I would never treat anybody that way. Like, I just wouldn't. I promise you, I just, I fucking would not do that. <laughs> I'm like, we're adults now and this is not, no... Good luck in your, with your endeavors, but I'm out. Because I have my own shit I'm, work, I'm working on and dealing with. And I just, I have better friends. And so, everything fun happening and then Halloween after going through an, yeah, another friend breakup. And just kind of it being like, they do think I am thought of as like a friend to people. People do like me. People do enjoy my company. That means a lot. So, yeah. There's that, but let me read these quotes. So, these are mainly just Taylor Swift. Yeah, this is all Taylor Swift quotes. So, got a love sick all over my bed from Slut. Got a love struck went straight to my head. Got a love sick all over my bed. Is that that? And then, what? And then from Say Don't Go. This line, this line fucks with me. <laughs> this is the line that, um, I think after going through two, going through a romantic breakup at the beginning of the year, a friend breakup and another friend breakup, so a total of three breakups in total of this year alone, the... Why'd you whisper in the dark just to leave me in the night? 
Now your silence has me screaming, screaming. Say, don't go. How would stay forever if you say, don't go. Like, why do you, like, the, why do you whisper in the dark just to leave me in the night? I'm like, holy fuck, I relate. And the last one is from Is It Over Now? I think about jumping off a very tall somethings just to see you come running. Because the, all the, from the vault tracks. And then I also love now that we don't talk and suburban legends, like just everything. I really was able to relate. Ooh, there's another look at that. So yeah. And I really got into, um, I th mostly at the end of September and beginning of October, I really got into Heartstopper. <laughs> I fucking love Heartstopper. <laughs> so I finally got into Heartstopper. I've read all the volumes. And then the next volume five comes out. Because <laughs> I didn't know it was a graphic novel series. And then my friend Kira is like, I've been obsessed with Heartstopper. I'm like, I kind of have been too. And then she's the one who enlightened me. So I read all the novels after she told me about there was novels. Then the fifth one comes out December 15th, so I'm really excited about that. So yeah, yeah, that is the month of October. Filled with ups and downs, mostly ups. I had a fun time. I had a damn good time. And yeah, I hope everyone's doing good. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.